In this unit, we are going to look to Byzantine leader election. And this is an application of Byzantine quorum that we just discussed in the previous unit. The scenario is we have a set of processes. Some of them can behave arbitrarily, and we want to elect a leader among them. So, and this is a section where we can see how we use the techniques or the properties that we described about Byzantine quorums. So in a Byzantine quorum, we have the number of correct processes are n minus f, n are the total number of processes, and f is the maximum number of faulty processes. We have also the condition that n is greater than 3f. And the size of a quorum, the size of a quorum, is 2f plus 1. So, um, and that is greater than half of the sum of all processes in the system plus faulty processes. Now, the properties that we are going to exploit is as follows. A property that gets f plus 1 messages from different uh, processes knows that at least one message is from a correct process. This property we are going to exploit. And the other property is the following. A process that gets 2f plus 1 messages from different processes knows that it got messages from a majority of correct processes in this quorum. So here is the situation. We have seen that before. If we get 2f plus 1, it means that we f is here. You can see f is equal to 2 to f plus 1 is 5, then we know that we got uh, messages from a majority of uh, correct processes in that call. So, what is um, Byzantine leader election? So, we have n processes, f of them may be faulty, so, and we want to elect a leader. So, the issue now how to detect a faulty process in a Byzantine model. This is up to the application to decide that the elected process is not behaving as it should. The idea here is that correct processes will eventually agree on one correct process as the leader. So, here is our uh, scenario. So we have a number of nodes. Here is one node, here is another node, we have n processes and f Byzantine processes among them. And we have the Byzantine leader election component here and the application component here. And the idea is we will elect one process, we don't know if this process is correct or, or faulty, but if the application complains, so it will send a message to the Byzantine leader election component. And if enough processes complain, eventually we are going to change the leader. So if a majority of correct processes complain, all correct processes switch to another process. So we assume a partially synchronous system because a Byzantine faulty process might also be silent it might have crashed and also correct processes might if we use asynchronous model we don't know how long going to wait until we can switch to another process so let us look to the properties that we want to have the first property we assume a partially synchronous system and if more than f correct processes complain correct processes complain about the leader then the leader will be changed. In this case, we know that the majority of correct processes have complained, and that is the only condition to change the leader. The second condition that we would like to satisfy, a correct process does not change a leader unless at least one correct process complains about the leader. And what we would like to achieve is eventually 
all correct processes elect the same leader. So these are the properties that we would like to satisfy. So let us look to these properties a little bit more formally. And here is, so we have a Byzantine leader election. The instance is PLE. We have an indication. This is the message sent from the Byzantine leader election component to the application. Trust process P. And there is the message sent from the application to the Byzantine leader election component complaining about P. And now we can look to the properties. Formally, the first property is called eventual succession. If more than F correct processes that trust some process P complain about P, then every correct process eventually trusts a different process than P. So this is basically saying to move to another leader, you need a majority of correct processes, eventual success. The second property is push resistance. A correct process does not trust a new leader until at least one correct process has complained about the previous leader. This makes sure that you got a complaint from a correct process, not only a faulty process. Third is eventual agreement, where there is a time after which no two correct processes trust different processes. We assume that the application layer of a correct process eventually does not complain about a correct leader. And this is the assumption of partial synchrony comes in. So let's just look to the algorithm. We are going to look to an algorithm called rotating Byzantine leader election. We have n processes P0 to Pn minus 1. Each process has a rank. The algorithm works in round 0, 1, etc. And in each round R, each process selects a leader. So the leader of a round R is P such that the rank of P modulo N is equal to R. That's why we call it a rotating leader election algorithm. So it means after round n minus 1, we are going to move to process B0. And then P1 again, P2, until Pn minus 1, and, and so on. Eventually, in some round, all correct processes trust the same leader. So let us look to what happens in a round. Assume we have round R. We see what's going to happen there. So whenever a process receives a complaint from its application layer, it will broadcast it to all other processes. Second, whenever a process receives F minus one complaints and did not complain itself in this round, it will broadcast it to all processes. And when it does so, it knows that at least it got one complaint from a correct process. Third, Whenever a process receives 2F plus 1 complaints, it moves to the next round. In this case, this process knows it got complaints from a majority of correct processes, and now it can move to the next round and declare another leader. So let us look to this one step after the other. So whenever a process, say, this process receives a complaint. So this process broadcasts the complaint to all other processes. So this is broadcast. So whenever a process receives F minus one complaints and it does not complain, it broadcasts it to all other processes. So here is a situation where this process receives F plus 1 receives F plus 1 complaint and it did not complain in this round. So it will broadcast broadcast message to all other processes. Whenever a process receives whenever a process receives 2F plus 1 complaints, it moves to the next round. 
So let us look a little bit to um, the some execution scenario. So we have four processes, so n is four. We have f is one. We have p0 as the initial leader, and is faulty. f plus one is equal to two, and two f plus one is equal to three. We are in round zero, so r equals zero. And initially, we have P0, as I said, uh, is the leader. Now, P1 complains. So this is a complaint, the application layer. It got from the application layer a complaint. Say so complaint, CM, we use the word, okay? In this case, P1 will broadcast its complaint to all other processes. P2 also complains because it's not getting the right response from the leader P0, which we know we are faulty. So it's also going to broadcast complaint to all other processes. So this is a complaint. Now, P3 receives two complaints, and that is F plus one, as we said. Then P3 also is going now to broadcast the complaints. At this point, if we look to any of the correct processes in the system, we find that a process now receives two F plus one complaints. Then it will move to the next leader. So for example, for example, P2 receives now three complaints, then it will elect another leader. So it will trust move to the next round. It will move to the next round and trust the leader of that round, which is P1. The same happens to P1 here and to P3. So at this point, the first round is finished and we are starting the second round, R1. By this, we finished uh, the leader election algorithm we know that eventually one correct uh, process will be elected as a leader and the system will remain like so because it is partially a synchronous system. By this we have finished uh, discussing failure detectors, different kinds of leader election algorithms for different models. And now we'll start look to services in a distributed system. We are going to look for abstractions for different kinds of broadcasts, followed by abstraction of building shared memory or shared stores. And after that, we are going to look to the consensus problem. Okay, see you in the next lecture.